welcome back. Saturday. <clears throat> Quick overview before I run out and do some errands and stuff before the storms hit. Introduce you to this is Beavis. The other identical one that Chet is building will be Butthead. Thought that was funny, ironic. Our generation. This is the LD ARC Tiny Wing 450X. This is the version 2 that comes with the FPV canopy cowl type thing. Um, was sort of a plug and play. There wasn't many options with us running Spectrum in the receiver category. So we decided, I decided first, let me see if I can even get this off with one hand, to go full out. So to speak, which is funny because there's nothing to this other than a bunch of wires and custom stuff. So... Not a lot of room under here, but I made it made do. And how nuts I am with wires, I tried to keep it as clean as possible. You got your servo wires coming out that I had to uh, turn that off. I had to convert over to servo plugs for the receiver. I don't remember. It's like the AR410 receiver from Spectrum. There are smaller, but this is the option we went with. Had to do some splicing to create the power. This will take the actual full voltage of the battery. It's up to like 9.4 volts, and this is only running 2S on it. Um, all the magic is under the canopy here. So I got a Cadex ant. Don't need anything more for what I'm doing. I don't need to see tree branches and stuff like that. The Panda RC, this is, I forget the model number, but it's a VTX. It has four LED outputs traditionally for a quad for the arms and it has a beeper built in that you can wire right to so I went for ease of use um, with wiring I ran power directly to it and then I was it just tapped off because it had top and bottom um, pads and ran everything to the ant and the ant can also handle the the full voltage the only thing I got left to do is just tie these wires down here quick disconnect right here for the power so if I didn't want to use it for some reason or safety or whatever I created a quick disconnect what else do we got oh my um, oh yeah 2s just race day 650 milliamp I, I channeled out a little more making it a little bit deeper and ran some velcro for the battery has the option to move around for center of gravity based on your flight but um, this had, let's see if I can close this without getting caught, LEDs built in with the factory setup. This is actually from, the LEDs in here are from the Fly Egg 100, the King Kong Fly Egg 100. In the comment, leave in the comments if you remember what that quad was. That was in the journey in the beginning and one of my favorites. I absolutely love that thing and donated it to a good friend to get him up in the air. But it has two underneath these bubbles. Two little smart LEDs that were wired into the board and based on what mode you're in they change colors. I would have lost that ability to use them because it's not a standard and there's not a lot of LEDs out there that will take just straight 2S because there's no Beck in here or anything. So like I said that you can run up to four, but I'm tapping two of the LEDs here, right there. And um, that is what's creating the colors and there's patterns. So you've got a VTX button right there to switch channels, bands, power, all that. And on the other side, clicking this will change what those do. They're both in sequence, they'll do the same exact thing. If I want to make one do something other than because I have them both wired to the back. I could wire one of these up to the front, and by doing that, it will sort of make them separate because there is options, but the front's doing versus the rear. And that's kind of it. I put a little, the little hard plastic thing and have the antenna for the receiver just popping up, getting it out and away from the electronics and stuff in there. The only thing I did was switch. It was like a 3.8 or 3.9 inch prop. I ran four I think it's an HQ prop and that's about it I put some of the graphics on I added some of my own and that's about it so it's a very 
I guess, simplistic style build. I sort of test flew it in the street in front of the house just to see if it would get up in the air and then got panicky because there was lots of trees and other things. But it flew, so I know it'll fly. It's just a matter of testing some of the rates and making sure I'm getting full servo movement so it'll be agile or less agile, setting up dual rates, whatever. So it's there. Beavis is ready to get up in the air. Got to help Chet build his. So we'll see what the afternoon holds. It's going to be all building and tuning and stuff today because uh, the weather is going to suck ass. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think if you're interested in it. There's a few left out there. I got mine on Amazon. They're on eBay. Yeah, it's a couple years old, I think, to be honest. So I don't know what the availability is. But if you want something small that can fly in more of a confined space, this is the way to go. And this is my first wing, so it'll be a fun adventure in the way that it flies. But cool. Peace out.